सो फ्रेंड्स इन टूडेज वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू कवर चैप्टर नंबर टू विच इज बैंकिंग राइट एंड इन दिस चैप्टर वी हैव ऑलरेडी कवर्ड ऑल द टॉपिक नाउ वी आर ऑन क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री ऑफ एक्सरसाइज टू ए राइट सो लेट मी रीड द क्वेश्चन फर्स्ट एंड ट्राई टू एक्सप्लेन यू सो क्वेश्चन इज से Each of A and B opened a recurring deposit account in a bank. So there are two person. One is A and one is B, and they have opened a recurring deposit in a bank. Now they are saying if A deposit twelve hundred rupees per month for three years, okay, and B deposit fifteen hundred rupees per month for two and a half year, then find on maturity. who will get more amount so basically two people a and b have submitted some amount up to certain period and we need to find out who will get more amount right that's one thing and the rate of interest paid by the bank is 10% per annum right so let's try to understand this question how to solve this okay so question number 3 of exercise 2a of chapter number 2 banking so friends if i ask a very simple question i mean before going ahead to solve this question question is asking find on maturity when anybody will get the maturity amount okay so what will he actually getting I have already explained you in my previous video, but I am explaining once again. Maturity amount consider couple of things. Number one, first of all, how much money he is paying. So in our case, he is paying twelve hundred rupees per month. So this is the money he will be getting on maturity. All right. Plus this money he is paying for how many months? right so if he is paying just for one month then is one but in question is saying for 3 years okay so 1200 into 3 years so 3 years we can say 36 months okay so that's why we are required to multiply this by 36 plus this money along with the interest rate of 10% what will be the amount okay so in that case he will be also getting the interest amount okay so on maturity the person will be getting the amount he is paying per month plus the interest amount and of course this amount He is paying for how many month will multiply to that month that amount. Okay, so that's the whole concept of maturity amount. Now, now let's see what are the things given in the question. So, for a deposit per month, a deposit per month is. and what we called or what is the symbol of representing deposit per month is p and that is equal to rupees 1200 okay and the period period what means period here means n and that is 3 years and that equal to 36 month okay now if you see in the book the formula is already given you just need to put the value in the formula and you will be getting the answer so this is the formula i is equal to p into n n plus 1 oblique 2 by 12 into r by 100 okay so the formula will be the interest rate or the interest on whole deposit is calculated by and this is uh, interest we are representing as an in i is equal to p into n 
एन प्लस वन ऑब्लिक टू इंटू ट्वेल्व इंटू आर बाय हंड्रेड राइट तो हियर पी इज वॉट पी इज द डिपॉजिट ही इज पेइंग पर मंथ टू द बैंक सो इन अवर केस दिस इज ट्वेल्व हंड्रेड ओके एन इज वॉट एन इज थर्टी सिक्स इंटू एन प्लस वन दिस इज थर्टी सेवन ऑब्लिक टू इंटू ट्वेल्व इंटू आर इज वॉट आर हियर इज रेट ऑफ इंटरेस्ट विच इज गिवेन एज ए टेन परसेंट सो इन दैट केस दिस इज टेन ऑब्लिक हंड्रेड राइट सो दैट द होल इक्वेशन यू जस्ट सॉल्व इट एंड यू विल बी गेटिंग अ वैल्यू ऑफ सिक्स 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 जीरो सो हियर आई इज इक्वल टू जीरो दैट इट नाउ यू जस्ट नीड टू पुट दिस वैल्यू हियर सो For maturity amount, maturity value for A will be how much? Twelve hundred, as I said here, into thirty six plus interest amount. Interest amount we already know, which is six 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 zero. So this will become four three two double zero. Plus six 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 zero, and that will be equal to four nine eight six zero. So this is the amount A will be getting. Okay. Now let's try to solve the same thing for B. Now for B, the values are he is depositing how much value? He is depositing fifteen hundred. So for B, P is equal to fifteen hundred. Per month, R for B is again ten percent, and N that is duration is two and a half year. So R is two and a half year. That is equal to how many how many months? Thirty months. Okay. So just write this value in the formula the same. What I have explained: interest is equal to P into N N plus one oblique two into hundred two into twelve oblique into R by hundred. Then we'll be getting I is equal to one five double zero into N is thirty into thirty one oblique two into twelve into ten oblique hundred. If we solve this, we'll be getting five eight one two point five zero. All right. Now you just need to put this value in this logic. What I've explained. So for maturity value, maturity value for B is what he is paying fifteen hundred into thirty month. Plus five eight one two zero point five. That will become four five double zero zero plus five eight one two zero point five, and that is equal to five zero eight one two point five. Okay, so A is getting four nine eight six zero. As a maturity value, and B is getting five zero eight one two five one two point five as a maturity value. Question is asking who will get more amount and by how much. So by seeing these two value, we can say B will be getting the greater value or maturity value, and the difference will be. So here I am just writing. Let's in different color. B maturity value is greater, and difference is if we subtract five zero eight one two point five minus four nine eight six zero. The answer will be nine five two point five zero. 
so that's your answer so difference is 952.50 rupees b is getting more than a all right so the trick here is what i have explained you in the very beginning of this question that you need to understand the meaning of maturity amount i am explaining once again quickly maturity amount is the amount that you are getting at the time once amount get mature and that include the amount you are paying per month and that you need to multiply with the duration okay so here 1200 into 36 plus there will be some interest amount that you need to add with this value so that comes your maturity amount right so that's all about exercise 2a question number 3 if you have any doubt feel free to put your comment in the comment section and i will try to help you again i will be covering next question number 4 in our next video bye bye and take care